my god. What is up team? Today, we're gonna be doing a totally different kind of video. So normally we do experiments and we do everything related to science. Today, we're gonna be doing the science of how to make money. Something I've wanted to do for a really long time. I've been an entrepreneur my entire life. Even when I was like five years old, I was making pieces of artwork and I was selling them to family members. And so this video is really intended to inspire you to show you that there are opportunities everywhere to make money. So here's how I got a free Mac computer. Originally I wanted to do a video called How to Make $200 on Craigslist. And I saw this ad in the free section of Craigslist, which I troll all the time. It's just like a hobby for me. I'm really curious about what people are just throwing away. Um, a lot of times you'll find people that are really wanting to just get rid of stuff and it has a lot of value and you can then monetize those items. And so I saw a guy getting rid of a safe and he said, you know, roughly 1,500 pounds of scrap metal. And I thought, wow, well that's easy. All you gotta do is show up with a, a trailer or a truck that can hold this, find a way to get the safe out of this guy's house, and then we'll go to a scrap yard and we'll make $150, boom, just like that. And then we went to Home Depot and we got a truck trailer, one that was within the capacity of holding something this big, around 1,200 to 1,500 pounds. And then as we started breaking it apart, we realized uh, this thing's probably not solid metal. And I kind of already knew that because I went ahead and called ahead to the scrapyard and I asked, do you guys accept safes? And the guy said, yes, although I'm gonna let you know that most safes are actually filled with concrete because that's what keeps them fire resistant. If you had it and it was just solid metal all the way through, the metal would actually be a really good conductor and the things inside would probably roast. So what they do is they actually make a barrier uh, throughout the entire safe with concrete that doesn't allow uh, to heat from the outside to penetrate the inside. So as we were going through and taking this thing apart, we realized we don't really have a whole lot of scrap metal here anymore. We really have just a big giant safe with a lot of concrete. I just want to peek inside. I just want to know like what, what's underneath that. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I think the majority of this thing is concrete. Uh, because I took out this right here, and you can see how there's concrete inside. Yeah, it just looks like it's just plated. Oh man. And then we just got ourselves a big giant piece of concrete. Oh boy. Whew. Oh man, that's bad news. That's real bad news. Now I had negotiated ahead of time with this guy that he would pay for the rental fee for the truck. Because he had asked. Because he probably knew that there wasn't a lot of scrap metal in there to begin with. So I had negotiated $50. So that already took care of the rental fee. So we're already up 30 bucks at this point. So we go out there, we get the thing on the truck, we winch it on there. It was really fun and challenging actually to get it on the truck. Oh, he put your back into it boys. All right, we're at the end of our line. That's as far as I can go. We did it, got her in. Done and done. So the next day, uh, we drive out to the scrap metal place and they're already saying no, we don't take we don't take safes, they're filled with concrete and we were like, we know, at this point we just wanna get it off our hands, I just wanna see what's inside of it. And we negotiated and we figured it out and they said, okay, we're gonna do it. And we filmed this like thing coming down and just destroying the safe and it was awesome. I think that in itself was probably just worth it. Oh my God. And so we ended up with $20. <laughs> so our whole safe, which we thought was gonna be 200, turned out to be 20 bucks. 
So as we're leaving with our $20, I'm noticing that there's these people that are almost like scrap metal poachers on the side of the road. And what they're doing is as people are coming into the scrap metal place, they're picking and pulling stuff off of the back of their trucks and they don't really have a good idea about if things work, what the true value is, because they're probably just doing this very quickly and they're reselling it you know, as fast as they can. And so with my $20, I walked over there and I noticed they had four Mac computers, but they probably didn't know that what looked like a monitor was actually a computer. Or maybe they did know and they just didn't even care. I don't really know. But there tend to be a lot of monitors mixed in with Mac computers that were also looking like monitors. Let's make a deal. I said, how much? They said 40 bucks. And I was like, all right, well, all I have is 20. Literally, that's all I had. I had $20, $20 and 25 cents. I was like, no, 40, 40, 40. And I'm like, oh man, I really, this, would be, this would be so good if I could get this. Potential $450 computer, maybe more. Uh, risk is really low. And so I knew, okay, look, he's really, he's really holding out on this $40. I'm gonna find the one that's the most dinged up that's still usable. So we found one of the computers that had a little chip in it, but wasn't affecting the actual monitor. That crack will never go anywhere. I said, all right, well, are they working? He admitted, I don't know if they're working or not. All right, cool, that's, that's a bonus for me. Is there a keyboard? No, okay, so, you know, psychologically, we're getting this price lower, lower, and lower. And then I put, I did ye old put the money back in the wallet trick, which is, all right, well, we're gonna have to get out of here slowly, by the way. You gotta do this slowly. You gotta slowly walk away. Okay, we're leaving now. Okay, 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 $20, $20. Uh, the one with the scratch. Okay, yeah, sure, okay, yeah, everyone, everybody wins, you know? And so for 20 bucks, he gave us this computer. Now, I don't even know, again, I don't know if he thought it was a computer or a monitor. So now all I need to do is buy a used keyboard, a used power cord, and a used mouse, and I got myself a brand new computer. So we started off with a safe, went bust, got really depressed, and then turned a bad situation into an amazing opportunity. Now, there's no way to replicate that. I don't know how you could ever replicate that scenario. The, really, the point of this video is to inspire you, to show you that if you're always keeping your eyes open and you're really always keeping you know, your focus on money-making opportunities or really value-making opportunities, uh, they're all around you. And so I hope this uh, video is proof that the opportunities are all around you. Um, if you guys like this video, go give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, one, were you surprised that uh, one, that inside of a safe is actually concrete and not metal, and two, that we were able to pull this off from going from a Craigslist post to a free computer. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys really soon.